just place them here. Okay. Just tweak a bit. That's pretty good. Well, maybe we can increase his size just a little. Yeah. That's cool. And you can duplicate him and set him to duplicate layer and set him to probably soft light. Soft light. Yep. <coughs> and duplicate him again. Just see if we can. What I'm trying to do is make him as dark as the background. Duplicate him again. It's That's a bit too much. Yeah, that's okay. Um, what we want to do now is add another effect that will sort of lay over the render just to give it a bit more depth. Um, maybe use this one. See what it looks like. Mm. Now I've used that part already. Try and use a different part. Hmm. Maybe if we. Stretch it a little. Just delete parts we don't need. Rotate a little. Mm. Yep. But what I don't want to do is hide the effect at the back. Maybe we could just move that around a little just to make it stand out a bit more. Yeah. Maybe erase some of it here. Or yeah, just erase that. And set that to overlay. Nope. Hard light is probably the best. Thing here. Okay. And now what we do is make a new layer. So lay a new layer. And what we do is press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. This will merge all the other layers into one layer, which is this one. And <coughs> what you do on this layer is just like you can sharpen sharpen the parts you want to stand out, which is usually the foreground and the background blur. So sharpen maybe his face a little. Maybe this part here. Let's make that a smaller. Maybe blend him in a bit by blurring this 
sides. I'm trying to make it too sharp because it starts looking a bit pixelated and looks like it's a bit low quality so we don't want that and yeah blur the background just to make it look like it's far away okay and what we do now is add a gradient map so that's an adjustment layer, layer, new adjustment layer, gradient map, and use the colors that you you chose at the beginning, and maybe set that to fifty percent capacity and screen. Make a new layer. Yeah, and do what we did before with the whole control, alt, shift, and E thing. Merge all the layers together and duplicate this layer and set it to soft light. Should darken it a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe we can add another gradient map to see if it would look any better because it seems a bit fluorescent at the moment new adjustment layer gradient map maybe add a black and white sometimes your SIG may look better black and white so if you want to keep it like that, you can. Like this one looks pretty good, I'd say, but we want a color one. Yeah. Say at a low capacity. Yeah, it looks a bit darker. Okay. Um, now you can add a um, levels adjustment layer. Just like tweak the bright areas and the dark areas. Seems like it hasn't made much of a difference, but okay. <coughs> and maybe add a light source now. Uh, what we do is just get a soft brush, maybe like 30 pixels. or whatever mm. or 45 no 100 yeah 100 um, use, we need a white color and we just we need to duplicate that layer again so well I mean merge the layer again let's just make a new layer Uh, merge them all together again and now add the light source uh, colors returned 